Hi guys, welcome back to Advanced VR Fair. I'm Ben, and today I'm here with the creator of Walkabout Mini Golf. Name is Lucas Martel. Hi, Lucas. Hey there. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here today, Lucas. Your game is is rated five stars on Oculus, both Rift and Quest Store. How does it feel? It's been so awesome. We we this project was it started off as such a little project and just a labor of love and to see that it is sort of like it has just struck a nerve with so many folks and just really sort of like oh like yeah just the number of people who are sort of now spending so much time playing mini golf in vr it just it it's so awesome to to sort of see it and sort of like be here on the ground floor for it it's amazing it's amazing i i never played any golf or mini golf game and the first game i played it's yours and i never thought I will be in love with a with a so simple game as Walkabout Mini Golf, but I have to tell you, it's now one of my top five uh, favorite games. I'm I'm serious, and those yeah. who follow me know perfectly that I that I never say any any bullshit about the game, and uh, mm -hmm. it's you can believe me, it's one of my favorite since I started yeah. to play. Uh, I'm here with Lucas today, guys, because. A new course is about to arrive uh, for Walkabout Mini Golf, and what's the best way to know something about, if not directly from its creator? So, Lucas, I don't want to waste much of your time, but before we talk about the new course, tell us something about your team, because the team behind the game, for me, it's it's more important than the game itself. So, how many persons? works behind Walkabout Mini Golf and why you choose to create a game about mini golf. Yeah, so I'll kind of give a little backstory to explain that better. So I grew up playing mini golf. Um, I just loved it as I was a kid, even like around the living room, we would make like little obstacles on the carpet and sort of like my brother and I would, would basically make our own mini golf holes. So it's kind of like in my DNA. Um, and I I always thought that, oh yeah, it'll be fun. And then sort of like VR is like, hey, there's something fun we can do with this. So it started off just as like a little hobby thing. And the first four, almost five courses had been pretty much a solo project. Um, I got a little bit of help on the modeling, um, but for the most part, those were sort of like just me solo. Um, and now we have grown the team to, I think we're at 17 or 18. So yeah, so we've actually expanded the team quite a bit. A lot of that, you haven't even seen the results of what the full team is able to do yet because we are, like uh, Don, um, our uh, senior art director, he has come on and I think that we're just about to finally see like a couple of the, the levels that he has really gotten in and started designing from the very beginning. So a lot of the folks on the, uh, on the team have been involved with some of the releases, but you haven't even gotten to see sort of like what the full team can do. So I'm really, really excited to like, Find, to show people where we're going next and yeah like all of the new really cool stuff we can do now with this this really experienced team okay uh, just a, a personal question uh when you was born which year yeah 80s, uh, 80s? 80 81 okay i'm from 83 yeah. so we're talking about the same language mm -hmm. um the new course is about is about mist correct mm -hmm. which is a, uh, yeah. a great a great puzzle game from from our our past and mm -hmm. uh, that res recently has been rebooted in VR but mm -hmm. we know this game since 90s um, together with the course um, um, about labyrinth is the mm -hmm. second one that brings the player into the past mm -hmm. I don't like to say that we are old I prefer to say <laughs> we are vintage middle-aged yeah we're we're vintage. Middle -aged. we are yeah. vintage <laughs> So I, I really love this back to the past thing, okay? Mm -hmm. But how come you decide to make these two courses about uh, something related to the past? And overall, why Mist in particular? So um, Mist in particular was one, it was one of the first games that I played um, it got me interested in doing 3D animation um, and just sort of seeing what they had done with some of the rendering is kind of is what kind of inspired me to kind of go down the path that I was that I went down. Um, so for me, I think that a lot of it um, 
we're in a very lucky spot that when we are doing licensing stuff, um, we're able to sort of pick and choose the, or we don't have to do licensing um, because the, you know, we love doing the originals and it's not like we have any shortage of our original ideas. That said, the idea has been brought up a couple of times and we really sort of like went for it, reaching out to the folks at Cyan as well as the folks at Henson um, to like, wouldn't it be cool? And there's just some factor of that, that, that we're really just sort of like, what were the things that we grew up with that made an impression that we think that other people would want? And I think the other big thing is that we're also very conscious. We're trying to choose partners for some of the licensed stuff that you don't have to know Mist. It's still going to be a great course and it's a really cool, unique environment. Labyrinth is going to be, a, it's an amazing course that we're putting together for that. So that's really what it comes down to more than anything. It's sort of like, it's something that has like, what is the right place, the right, um, something that's going to be a fun course, even if you don't know. And for the, for the diehard fans, um, even better, but we're, we also have a really, in, like our audience spans pretty much from, you know, 13 to 90. And so there's a lot of folks in there who sort of like have different stuff. And we've got some things that are, that we're, we're trying to, to figure out on the licensing side that will be even more recent, maybe even some things that will be older, but we kind of don't care so much about that. It's all like, what do we think is cool and something that will work really well, just as a mini golf course in general. Yeah, the, the most the most important thing is to have fun, and uh, yeah. this is your game. It's mm -hmm. it's pure fun, and 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 that's why I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, Walk about mini golf is is full of very well designed courses that reproduce many scenarios. Mm, my favorite, for example, is the Tetis Station because I mm -hmm. love space travels, astronomy, mm -hmm. and so on. And I, and I really love Tetis, Tetis Station. But mm -hmm. um, how a course born? Uh, what's the path that lead you and your team to create so complex courses? So we have, um, when the game first came out, um, and then uh, Henning Kachi, who is now our basically lead course designer, um, especially gameplay. Um, he and I sat down, came up with a whole bunch of ideas of just like, oh, what are all the different things? And we have a, a very long list of like over a hundred ideas that would just be super fun. And where the courses generally start is kind of going to that list or even bouncing around some new ideas and trying to figure out what makes the most sense to do next, but is also something that is different than people haven't seen before. Um, we also think a lot about what does the actual gameplay look like? Um, and is there something new or different we can do with like the mechanics like Coyote Valley was the first one that really introduced wind as a new mechanic and like that opened up a whole new style of gameplay in a great way. Um, so it's really a balancing act. We kind of feel like what is the tone of the course? We don't like to do the same tone every single time. We want some to be like Tethys is a little bit more yeah it's it's definitely got this sort of cool retro outer space vibe but then you've got others that are more natural and a bit more like Coyote Valley that's a bit more um just sorry phone uh just a bit more um beautiful and serene and peaceful so we really like to vary that up and sort of look at not only what does this idea have but also how does it fit with the other ones around it and does it sort of like build on it and and takes us someplace that we haven't been before okay so uh maybe you said before um mm -hmm. do you do you play mini golf in real life you and your team yeah uh, yeah yeah um yeah we all we all play a lot of the team is based in austin although um about half of us are here in austin texas the other half are spread out all over mostly the us but we've got a couple people overseas as well um and yeah we all we all play mini golf in real life there's a couple courses around austin that we've been to as a team together um yeah it's it's super fun and who's the best don't worry you can say mm, it's me i'm definitely the best <laughs> <laughs> I've, i've got i've got years of experience so, i don't yeah. doubt it i don't doubt it so there are infinite there are really infinite environment and settings where uh, you can set a mini golf course like mm -hmm. for example uh ancient ancient egypt uh, mm -hmm. and, and pyramids uh, or mm -hmm. maya and aztecs uh, dinosaurs mm -hmm. from underwater to up the sky uh, 
even inside a volcano you can set a mini golf course but where do you plan uh, to to set your your next course uh well so i'll let me let me put it this way is that so we are not doing um so we have about nine courses that are all in active development right now because it takes about nine months and we're as we're getting up to the one a month course i don't want to say what is coming next but pretty much everything that you had on the list is stuff that we are actively working on and i think that's no surprise to a lot of folks because anyone who's been on our discord has been sort of seeing the requests but we've still got the lost cities that we're finishing up we've got another series that's going to be um starting up here in the summer as well as a couple of the licensed things so i don't want to say what's next of but course. yes basically okay. yes all of it. okay okay that's perfect don't worry so lucas uh i'd say this is enough for now it's been a pleasure okay. to have you here in my channel thanks for your time i wish all the best uh, for mm -hmm. you, your team, and your game, and I hope to see more funny contents. And of course, I will be happy to play uh, on on my channel to show my followers. Oh. What can I say? Uh, see you on the course then. But mm -hmm. why not? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Lucas Martel, creative the creator of uh, Walk About Mini Golf. Thanks for your time and thanks. Thanks for playing. Bye, Lucas. Thank you. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this interview with Lucas Martel, creator of Walkabout Mini Golf. Very special guest for the first time on my channel. And I remind that you can buy Walkabout Mini Golf on Steam, Oculus, Bot, Rift and Quest Store. And remember that you can play in crossplay with all your friends from all the other platforms. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. From Ben it's all, see you to the next one and see you in VR. Bye guys and thanks again Lucas. Bye.